Okay, now we are back. Like I said, same outfit, same day, just a, like a couple hours later. Um, I am gonna share with you guys everything that I picked up that was not food related. So all the non-food stuff that I got from Walmart. If you guys watched my last video, it was my grocery haul, all the groceries I got at Walmart. And I spent a little bit of money, quite a bit of money. Um, I'm gonna, definitely gonna have to go through this stuff and separate it. I found so many stitch items that I got all the Halloween stuff. I'll share that with you guys. And then I got a lot of clothing that I'm actually gonna separate. Some of it is going to be for Rose for like birthday, Christmas, and then she actually has a friend who really likes Stitch also. So I need to look and see what I already have, go through everything and kind of pull out a few pieces and that way her birthday is actually, I think it's four days, five days before Rose's. Um, so they, they, have, they share a birthday week. Um, so I'm gonna have to pull out a few pieces and we'll already be done for her birthday. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna show you guys the Stitch like non Halloween clothing first. And then I did get like, you guys can see, I got some hay bales and some other stuff. If I have a price, most things should have a tag on it. So I'll be able to tell you guys the prices. All right, so I, several months ago, I feel like I got a little stitch, um, like hooded onesie type thing for Rose. And I saw this one at Walmart. It's definitely different because it has like stitches body or not, not his body, but it has stitch all over it. The other one was just blue, more like a Halloween costume. Um, this one is going to be a little bit big on Rose, but she just loves this kind of stuff. Like she wants everything stitched. So I always gift the kids some kind of like Christmas pajama, um, or it used to be Christmas Eve and they were like Christmas pajamas, but that was when they're younger. They're older now. So the last couple years, I've always given them like a new pair of pajamas at the very beginning of December. And that's like their like cold weather winter pajamas. So I think I'm gonna hold on to these for that since she already does have something a little bit similar. This was $22.98. So I did pick that up, super comfy. It is gonna be a little bit big on her, um, but she loves wearing oversized stuff and pretty much all of this is gonna be a little bit big because it's women's. So this is a small, uh, four to six. I think that's like a, a teen. Is that with a teen size or something like that? I don't know, but it's teen or women's, but I did go ahead and pick it up because again, Stitch. So if you guys have Stitch lovers, go to Walmart right now because I mean, I got a bunch, I got a bunch, and ugh, her cat Stitch is here also with his nails in my pants because he just saw a little, what are these called, drawstring. But anyway, this is her cat Stitch. Hi, buddy. So yeah, he's playing with the little drawstring. I'm probably gonna have to get him out of here because he keeps going after the tags, and it's only a matter of time before he his claw goes in my leg or my hand or something. Okay, a couple items, They were. it's like all Disney, but it has Stitch on it. So this might be, and I don't, I haven't decided yet. I'll have to ask Rose, like if her friend likes all Disney or if it's just Stitch, because if it's all Disney, I have a couple pieces that I, I might pull out for her. So here's a pair of leggings. And is there Stitch on that one right there? No, it's on this side though. So these were in the kids section um, and they were $7.98. Here's a t-shirt that I found. So it has Stitch and Angel. This is also in the kids section. I'll let you know if I found it in the kids section. Let me just double check, yeah. Or the adult section. Where's the price on this? This is not the price. And the little sticker tag doesn't have the price on this. So I'm not gonna pop up prices for the non-food stuff. It, it just takes me forever. <laughs> so, okay, there's that one. Here's another t-shirt I found in the kids section. I like the, the tie-dye blue. Rose loves tie-dye also. It's very faint, but it's there. I feel like these were maybe like five or something like that. Not very expensive. expensive. Okay, these are definitely, this is, oh no, his claw is about to go in me. This is what he was going for, her cat stitch. So these are going to be long on her, but again, she loves Stitch and what she does, if I find something or she's out with me and we find something that's like in the teens or the women's, she will like just get the smallest size one. So it's a small and the women's and she'll just roll it up and use the, 
the drawstring to tighten it up and it fits on her. She's so funny, but I saw these, I knew she would like them and they're gonna be perfect for when the weather does start getting a little colder cause they are like super soft blanket material. But these are women's sleep pant with pockets and they were $10.98. All right, this shirt is like the Disney 100. So it has Disney 100 on it and then it has characters as well. You guys see the stitch? Yeah, so there's a there's various stitch ones all over. Then you've got Winnie the Pooh, Alice in Wonderland, Mickey, Minnie, Donald Duck, um, Simba, Tinkerbell. I think that's it. That's all I see on the back here. It was $8.98. And this was from the teen. Yeah, I got an extra yeah, I got an extra small. So this was from like the teen, maybe women's, but this should be just a little. This would probably actually fit her pretty well. Another shirt I found from the teens or young adult was this one. She's gonna really love this one. This one, I'm, I don't know. Yeah, I just don't know yet what I'm gonna do for her friend or her rose. Like I said, I already have some stitch clothing, so I really need to, to go through it, but she's set. I am almost done with rose for Christmas because I just, it's easy. That's, that's all she asked for this year, unless like last minute she comes with something else. All she wanted was stitch stuff. So I picked this one up, super cute, just a little short sleeve shirt and it was eight dollars 98 cents then we've got this one the majority of stitch stuff that i find is blue so i get excited because he's blue i get excited when i find non-blue <laughs> colors so this i believe yeah so this one teen also but you can see like the different this is oversized t-shirt for sure so i got this in a small and it's like bedazzled it has all sorts of little jewels on it and what does it say always unique I love that I did see a tag on here this one was ten dollars and 98 cents then I found a sweatshirt that again not just stitch but it's got a couple other characters on it as well the white a little bit nervous about that but twelve dollars 98 cents um, extra small I got this in an extra small this was in like the young adult adult section nothing on the back yeah they had like a ton of the Disney 100 items so like I said if you're and they had other Disney stuff too um, just not as much like I saw a lot of stitch stuff so definitely, like I said, if you have a stitch lover. All right, I got this pair of um, their joggers, stitch joggers. I found this in the kids section. So there's one leg, you can see they're just, it's just like a periwinkle blue, but on the bottom, and there's nothing on the top, just drawstring little sweat joggers, but on one leg on the bottom, you've got stitch there. So I picked those up. I might give these to her right now, like right away, just because summer hot these are gonna be a little big on her she's definitely gonna have to like drawstring them they're gonna fall off of her um but she loves this stuff these were actually on clearance so small young adult so three to five you can see it says stitch on one side it has stitch on the other but these were on clearance for six dollars so because i guess they're they're shorts and we're even though we're in texas they're still getting rid of all this summer wear and pulling out all the sweaters and everything so and makes it kind of hard all right last thing um stitch wise it's not holiday related i do have some holiday stuff i found this pair of pajamas it was two pieces twelve dollars 98 cents in the kids department these are very thin so it's going to be a great transition but like they feel like those buttery leggings that's what it feels like it feels so good so <laughs> so cute Stitch is such a cute little character. It definitely goes well with Rose's personality. Very unique and sometimes crazy, but it's just like a little long sleeve shirt and then the pants look exactly the same. This is also a great option for pajamas. So like I said, I need to go through stuff and see about everything. Okay, we'll get out of the clothes for a minute. I did pick up two. Actually, I'm gonna leave this one in the bag because it popped open in the store and the cashier was like really super nice and Put it in a bag for me but this one's still all bagged up so i got two of these for my front porch this is actually the first i feel like this is the first year i picked up hay hay bales for my front porch but i've had a picture like saved on pinterest forever 
So I was like, okay, this is the year I'm going to do it. Um, so these were, I got two of them, $7.98 each. Maybe I'll take a picture once I decorate, decorate and post it on Instagram or something. Um, so hopefully you guys are following me over there, but it is the Harvest 20 inch straw bale, perfect for indoor or outdoor. I actually would not keep this inside your house because it, the hay goes everywhere. Like this one is the one that popped open. We have it in a bag because it was like getting all over the clothes and everything when I put it up on the conveyor belt. So I, I would not put this indoor unless you want to be sweeping and everything all the time. But this is going to go outside like you guys. This Walmart, well probably most Walmarts, they're already putting out stuff for Christmas. I did get a couple Christmas items, but I am going to go ahead and just finish up with the stitch stuff and that way I can show that to you guys. These items I am giving to Rose right now because they're all like Halloween related. Where do I even start? I'll show you the accessories first and then the few clothing items. So I picked up, I'm pretty sure she's gonna be stitched for Halloween. So I did pick up these nails. I thought those were really cute. It says $7 on the back. So it's got stitch dressed up as various things. They're definitely like Halloween. There's only 10 in here. So they're just, it just says 10 press on faux nails. I'll probably, and Claire's, Claire's, some Claire's items are in Walmart now. I'll probably use real glue. I actually got some like nail glue, super glue for these on her, just so they aren't like popping off and she has to worry about them if she does wear them for Halloween. I also picked this up. I thought this was really cool and it, it's a light up necklace. What's the price on here? $7. Was this Claire's also? Yeah, Claire's. Um, I thought that was really cool and that she could wear that while we're out to trick or treating. Then I picked up these scrunchies for $7. It's a two pack and they are like Halloween. So here's Stitch dressed up as a vampire. And this one is like a towel, like a microfiber towel feeling. It's all purple and then it just has that one stitch. And then this one, Stitch is a vampire, but it's what does it say? Oh, ha 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 all over it. So a little two pack there. And then the last accessory I got her, I don't know if she's going to wear this or not. I just, I didn't want to leave it there. I picked it up. I, this is going to go good with the, the first shirt I'm going to share with you guys. So if we do anything, well, we are doing a few, um, like Halloween activities outside the home. So I thought this would be something cute for her to wear to one of those activities, $7 also. So all of it was $7 and it's just a headband and it has the little stitch figures dressed up as a vampire <laughs> right there. So we've got that. And then this is the shirt that I thought would look really cute with that headband. It's got stitch and angel on there. Very cute. This was in the kids section and it was $5.98. Yeah, I think those other two shirts were five, five something as well that I got in the kids section. Okay, and then the last Halloween item, I picked up the sweatshirt. She's gonna die when she sees this. It's so cute. So it's just got stitch on a pumpkin all over with some bats. It is very, very, it's very thin, which is perfect for Texas. She'll probably only wear this like at night, <laughs> but it does have the little soft fleece on the inside. And then is there a tag? Yes, it was $12.98. So like I said, stitch galore. I found all the stitch things. So she is gonna get these Halloween things um, so she can wear them for the holiday. They're not gonna be like a gift or anything. Rose and Pearl's birthday is in November. So I can't give her that Halloween stuff for her birthday. She needs it beforehand. Okay, I'm gonna finish out the clothing. I got some stuff for Pearl also. I looked for Bryce. I just, I didn't see anything that I liked for him. Um, but then I have like bags of other items that are not clothing. So I got Pearl this skirt. She loves these types of skirts. This is super cute. It does have shorts attached on the inside, which is nice, the little like athletic shorts. I think they had another color there. I just love this green, green color. Um, Wonder Nation, and this was $10.98, so I got that for her. Then I got her this sweater. I might tuck away, yeah, I think I'm gonna give her the skirt so she has it in her wardrobe. She doesn't have a lot of bottoms that fit her right now, but this is going to be a gift, whether it's for her birthday or for Christmas, but I just loved it. Her favorite color is green, and then she really, 
is into mushrooms right now so this is like the best of both worlds it's pretty thin you can kind of see through it so i picked that up and then it has like this distressed scalloping detail on the bottom which i thought was cool it was $14.98 in like the teen young adult section okay one more shirt i found for pearl i think i'm gonna give this to her right now too because she might actually I don't know if she'd wear this with a skirt or not. She likes to mix and match prints and, and, and patterns and stuff. But I saw this shirt, got that for her. I also got this a little oversized. I got it in a medium. I feel like this was in the women's, um, but I got it oversized in case she wanted to wear it. Yeah, it was in the women's um, over leggings. So it, it would be long enough and it does not have the price on it. So I don't know what this one was but i feel like their t-shirts are all around like five six seven maybe something but got that and it says see the good in all things so pick that up all right this is definitely going to be gift of some sort whether it's christmas or birthday this was actually in with the fall and halloween decor house items six dollars 98 cents called a harvest pillow so i get i got this but this is definitely going to be like you know a gift for her and she'll keep it out all year round because of the because it's a mushroom so i thought that would be great for her okay now i've got bags of like smaller items so this might be the last like halloween thing i believe oh no it's not i got a few halloween things all right i picked both of these up i don't know if they're the same like if they have the same cards in them or not but these are two different packs of a Pokemon cards and they're for like trick or treaters. So there, it's called a Pokemon a trick or treat booster bundle. Um, this green pack includes 50 mini packs of the Pokemon TCG cards. And then this orange pack includes 40 mini packs. Um, I did open it already because I gave Bryce one. Did I open it? Yeah, I did. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how small they are because it says packs. But I don't know how many, like does it just have one card in it? I should ask him real quick, but I told them to stay in their rooms while I was filming um, because I hid the majority of this stuff and I just pulled it out again. It feels like it only has one card in there. So I don't know if they're all the same card or not, but I got these like to gift to gift to some Pokemon lovers that are in our lives and then also I might keep them for Halloween and um, pass them out. I don't know if we're going to be here trick or like handing out to trick or treaters or if we're going to be walking around with the kids. Um, I have, we, they haven't, we have, we still have plenty of time. We haven't decided yet. Like if they're going to go with other friends and family or if we're going to go with them. But, um, I thought this would be cool to have on hand, but I don't know the price either. It's not on here. So if you guys know, actually, I'll, I'll just go ahead and open one real quick. I'll open one. And that way, I might, Paige's boyfriend really likes Pokemon also, like he collects Pokemon, he resells Pokemon. Um, I might just as like a fun little joke put, okay, it's more than one card. I'm only gonna open one though. Um, I might put one of each of these packs in his little, his birthday is on Halloween. So here, you get three, and these are the three that came in that pack. So I'll just go ahead and give these to Bryce since I opened it, but I'm not gonna open one of these. So the green, the green bag had 50 in it. I opened a green one and then the, the orange one has 40. So I picked those up last year. I was on a hunt for those last year and I could never find them. They sold out super quickly. All right, I have some, now it's just gonna be kind of all over the place. However, the cashier bagged stuff up. Um, I have some travel items. I am going on a cruise coming up pretty quickly. So instead of, I didn't wanna buy little reusable bottles because I feel like I'm never gonna use them. I, I would just rather, buy stuff that I can toss afterwards. Um, so I got some shampoo, conditioner, body wash. I went ahead and went with this native. I did the coconut theme. I thought that would be fun. Um, so coconut and vanilla. I got the moisturizing shampoo by native. I got the body wash and the conditioner. 
so that'll be great it's just a five-day cruise so I'll definitely be coming home with with this and I'll finish it out here at the house and then I did go ahead so I don't have to I'm trying to like not pack as much so I can bring souvenirs home because I am limited for the cruise you're still limited on what you can take just like an airplane I guess on how many bags you can check your carry-on stuff like that so I'm trying to not I'm trying to get all the like smaller things so anyway instead of taking my own deodorant I got a tiny one <laughs> It's mainly the gist of what I was trying to say. So I, I, like I said, I stuck with the coconut. I got the native deodorant in the coconut and vanilla. That'll definitely be enough for the trip. Okay, and then I'm actually gonna have to find the other thing so I can show you these together. This is going to be a gift of some sort. I just don't know how. If I'm just gonna gift it to one of the girls, or I'm gonna break it up, or maybe this would be a great advent thing too for both of them. Um, but I found this line it's actually from justice so walmart is now carrying items from claire's and from justice and this is so cool so this is a it says mix it up sweet dreamer cotton candy body wash frappe it's a clean cleansing foam and a moisturizing layer with hydrating coconut oil but it, it does look like a a drink because it's got that foam on the top. So I thought that was really cool. It says glow on girl, mix it up for clean, soft skin. This unique formula uses a rich foam to gently cleanse while the hydrating coconut oil nourishes your skin. Simply shake to blend the coconut froth and the body wash for a moisturizing, rich lather. The girls are definitely getting to that age where they want all, even though they don't need all the cool like serums and face tools and stuff that's that's what they're getting into they're they're really enjoying it same with their friends like i hear them on their on the phone and their friends are like i just picked up this under eye serum and i'm like giggling like girl look at my under i'm the one who should be using that but i guess you know better early you know what i mean um sooner than later but i i picked that up because i thought that they would really enjoy that all the body care and and stuff like that and then i stuck with like their entire line so this is also beautiful glow by justice sweet dreamer cotton candy this is a coke this is a coconut milk bath soak um and it says foaming bubble bath powder they had two different scents they had this one the cotton candy so maybe i'll go back and get the other scent i thought about that and then i was like no i don't need to get both maybe next time i go into walmart i'll get the other scent and that way I can do it as a gift and I can wrap it or maybe for their birthday or whatever. Um, but this is, where is, where did it say? Here we go. Pour desired amount under warm running water. The more you pour, the more fun foam and fizz. So they do still enjoy baths. They don't like take baths to clean themselves. They take baths for fun, just to relax. They're, they're getting to that phase also where it's not a bath where they're playing with toys and Barbies and stuff. It's a bath where they're laying down. They have music on their phone. Um, they have like a little waterproof speaker or whatever that they'll have that. They'll have music on and they'll just lay there. So it's just, it's cool. Um, definitely a different age, you know, an age range for the girls that we're getting into. Um, and then this one is same thing. Beautiful Glow by Justice. Did I even show this one to you? I'm trying to be quick because I do hear kids trying to be sneaky. Um, this one is Sweet Dreamer Cotton Candy Sugar Scrub Sorbet with coconut oil and it comes with like this little spoon that's attached. So they're gonna lose this real quick, but you can just use your, your fingers to get it out. But it says glowing skin is always in. This gentle exfoliating sugar scrub softens and polishes as it exfoliates while leaving your skin deliciously scented. I didn't even smell any of this. Ooh. Well, that's good to know. It had the little thing on it. Nobody's finger's been in it. Oh, wow. That doesn't smell like cotton candy. It smells like blueberry and grape, but it smells really good. So I know they're going to enjoy this, but that'll, this will definitely be a gift because it's just one, it's cute. All three of these together. I think the other one was pink lemonade. Was it pink lemonade? I got this one because it was like purple, pink, blue, and all those colors and that's like the color scheme that the girls kind of like right now and the other one is pink orange and yellow i believe so yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna have to go back and get that other one and that way i can use it as a full a full gift of some sort all right two more items i got for the cruise i went ahead like i said i'm just trying to minimize the the weight limit in my suitcase so i can bring stuff back and not have like all these extra bags that i'm holding um but I did go ahead and get a little toothpaste. I actually got the same one. Is this, I feel like this is the one I use. Colgate Optic White Advanced. 
I think this is the one I use. I just got a smaller container of it. And then same with the body lotion. Instead of taking, like I have a bigger one, I went ahead and bought a smaller one and stuck with the coconut. So this one's Dr. Teal's Body Lotion Moisture and Nourishing, Moisture and Nourishing Coconut Oil, Essential Oil with Cocoa Butter, Shea Butter, and Vitamin E. I don't know if you guys, I don't think you saw Buford, but he just walked, walked on by some more like beauty or body face, face stuff. I'm almost out of lotion and I like to use like the, the acne control lotion. Um, so this is oil-free acne moisturizer, pink grapefruit, clears breakouts, low lightweight moisture by Neutrogena. Picked that up for myself and then Rose needed some face wash and I like this brand. Um, this brand has been doing okay for their skin. It's the CeraVe Foaming Facial Cleanser for normal to oily skin. So I picked that up for Miss Rose. Okay, I picked up an eyebrow brush. I I picked one up a few weeks ago. I don't know if it was in a haul or not, but it was like a comb one and I do not like it. So I, I wanted this, like the mascara one, but for my eyebrows. So I did pick that up. My eyebrows are super light, so I do fill them in just a little bit. I don't do anything like, I don't spend a whole lot of time, but the brush just helps it not look like pencil lines in my eyebrows. So I picked that up. Oh, here's another Halloween item. I feel like when I saw this, I was like, oh, that's cute. And then I was like, wait, do I have something like this? But I couldn't remember, so I just went ahead and picked it up. It just says out of candy. I thought that was cool uh, because kids do still, like they'll they'll knock on your door until like 10 o'clock. The, the older kids will still be trick or treating lately, later, and the dogs freak out all the time. So I was like, okay, I need some kind of sign so I can just set it out so they know. Um, most of the time we just turn the front porch light off, but I get, I get a little nervous about that. Like I, I like my front porch on just to be able to see things. So anyway, I got this sign that way we can leave our light on, but this tells everybody like, Hey, we are, we don't have any more candy. It was $4 and hold on the little thing got ripped. Oh, four, four, four. So $4 and 44 cents. So I picked that up. Hold on, I'm not showing you guys that stuff yet because there's another thing that I got with it. All right, here's the nail glue. I love this nail glue. I do not, I go through phases where I like to wear nails for a while and then I, I won't wear nails. I'll get them professionally done. I'll probably gonna get them professionally done for the cruise. Um, but this is my favorite nail glue. If it comes with nail glue, I toss it and I do not like the stick-ons. Like those, those are crap. They just pop off, especially if you do dishes and you don't wear gloves. I don't wear gloves. so. The, they, they just pop off, but this stuff works so great. They'll last on my nails until I physically take them off. So this is the Kiss Power Flex Max Speed Nail Glue Sets in Seconds. I always get, I just know that it's the green one it is the one that I like. They have a couple different variations. I like the green one. I'm almost out of mascara and I do not like the one that I I bought. I think I bought, it was, it was the yellow one. Is it still called Colossal? I feel like it's still called called Colossal but, Colossal, but it doesn't work as good as this one. The last time I bought mascara, they didn't have this one. This is my favorite, the Big Shot, the gold one. I just feel like I have pretty long lashes and this one just like makes them look really, really nice. So the one that I've had the last like month, I'm, I'm not in love with. So I'm glad that that one was back in stock. Pick, back in stock, I picked that up. And speaking of nails, I did get two sets of Halloween nails to wear over the month of October. Oh, so maybe I shouldn't get my nails done for the cruise because then they're gonna be, they're gonna be good for a couple weeks. and eh, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. <laughs> I'll pick these up anyway. Um, I thought these were really cool. They're the Impress, so these are the press on, but I still put glue. I put a little drop of glue and then I put it on. It still has like the sticky stuff attached to the nail, but as long as that glue is on there, they're not gonna budge. Um, but just the sticky stuff, no, I don't, I don't like these. Um, I always use glue. These are both glow in the dark. You get 30, which is nice. So if the girls want to do their nails, there's definitely some extras for them. I got this, they're, they're different sizes. So this one is a small, which is what I prefer. I don't like my nails getting super long because you know, typing and doing chores and stuff, I nails get in the way. But I love this one. This is like my go-to, the squared off short ones. And yeah, these are cute. It's got black, some black with glitter, and then some Halloween 
um, designs on it, like a clear nail, with, clear nail with Halloween designs. And then these ones are medium and they're like, kind of like oval. So they're a little longer. So I don't know if the, I will wear these for super long, but it has ghosts and then like black drippy paint and some glitter ones in there. I think they both have 30. Yeah, this one has 32. So I did pick these ones up and these don't have, none of this stuff has prices on it, but like, I feel like the mascara is probably $10. Maybe same with the glue, maybe who knows. All right. Sticking with the makeup, just to finish, thing off, finish things off, this is going to be a gift as well. Um, maybe even, this would be great for stocking. Maybe, maybe I'll wrap it, maybe stocking, I don't know. Um, but Rose, if you watch my grocery haul, Rose likes Fruity Pebbles. It's whenever I ask like the kids what kind of cereal they want, she always says Fruity Pebbles. And she loves to do her makeup and look what I found. Like what? They had Hot Cheetos also, if you have a kid that likes Hot Cheetos or a girl who likes Hot Cheetos that likes to do her makeup. Um, but the Fruity Pebbles just called my name. So this is a, an eyeshadow palette. And I'll, so it has a mirror. And then there's the colors. That is so cool. It even says post on there. Then you've got the set of brushes. So it has a powder brush, a blender brush, a shadow brush, and an eyeliner brush. All with different like Fruity Pebble designs on it. And then I just got three, right? Yeah, I just got three things. I feel like they had something else, but I was like, oh, Rose doesn't need that. Um, and then this is a two pack of flavored lip glosses. Also, fruity pebbles so that that was really oh they had doritos did they have doritos was it doritos i feel like it was hot cheetos doritos fruity pebbles which is kind of like a weird selection so maybe they have different ones but those are the only ones that were there okay we're gonna we're gonna go to christmas for a second because yes i did i sure did um i picked up three ornaments but i don't think i'm gonna use i might use them as ornaments but i thought they were great like little things to set around as well um, or on, I don't really do like a whole bunch of tiered trays. I just like, I just, I just like things like sitting different areas. So this one was $1.98 and it's like this 3D wooden star. It's got a little bead on there. I loved that. So I picked that one up. Then this one, I bet they were all $1.98, $1.98 as well. Well, this one I'll probably have to hang because it doesn't just sit like this one will sit because it's a 3D star. This one comes to a point, so it's not going to just sit. But I love that, the black with the wooden snowflake in there. It's got the little wooden bead up there, like that. And then this one, this one's a great piece to just sit anywhere. Yeah, $1.98. Hold on, I'm gonna take this off real quick so you can see it better. There we go. And it's just like the little house, says Mary and Bright, and then right there. I really love that. So I had to, I had to walk away with those. I almost like did not even go. They didn't have like a ton of Christmas stuff, but you could, you could tell that they were starting to put out like their Christmas village pieces and the little, um, the wall of ornaments that they do. It wasn't completely full, but it had a few. So I was like, I'm just going to look and see what they got. Okay. And then last but not least, this was $14.98. I picked this up. I just thought this was cool. The kids like stranger things. And I don't know if this is something that I'll, I might put this out for Halloween just because it'll be fun. Maybe we'll watch a few episodes or something um, or for the Halloween party that they're gonna have with their friends. But this would be cool when the last season comes out and we're like binging, we're, we already decided like we're gonna binge everything and get caught up and watch everything over again and then start the fresh season when it's out. But I don't know if you'll be able to, you can kind of see it inside the box there but it's just a Stranger Things LED shadow lights. They had several different things to pick from. Like of these, they had several different kinds with different, um, they had like a Friday the 13th one, a generic Halloween one. I feel like they had a couple more, but once I saw that they had Stranger Things, I had to pick, that's funny that it says 13 years and up on this. Um, but anyway, it says a thrilling addition to any room. It casts static or rotating images in all directions. Coverage up to three feet. So yeah, you guys can see those, but yeah. So I'm not quite sure what we'll use this for, but I knew it being Stranger Things, I don't think it'll be a gift. I think it'll just be something that I picked up. Oh, you can see the hay, the hay's on it. Oh, did you, what is that? What is that? He's very concerned. So that that's it though, you guys. That's everything that I picked up from Walmart. 
it was a lot a lot of clothing because of the stitch stuff that I found so now I really need to go through I can't I need to stop buying stuff for Rose because I feel like at this point she's gonna have too much and I'm really gonna have to like pull things aside and save them I'm glad she has a friend that likes stitch also so I can like utilize that birthday that's coming up but with that I hope you guys enjoyed this video of all the non-food walmart items that i found if you did give it a big thumbs up subscribe if you are new i hope you are having a fantastic day and i will see you in the next video bye